Hello Virgo, welcome to the channel. I hope you're all doing well and thank you for your likes, shares and subscribes. A message for you. A message for you. I'll just read it to you. I'm thinking of you at this very moment. Your love fills me with light and I love you. So if you're not with your partner and you wonder if they think about you, or if there's any distance between the two of you at the moment, that's a wee message there for you. Now, this can be, there's compromises that have maybe needed to be made here. It's about finding that middle path to find that way forward. So there could, you could have been through challenges here. There's been a bittersweet victory. Um, you know, it's like winning the battle, but not the war. But these changes and challenges have had to be made to move the relationship on. So let's see. So there might be distance here. There might be time apart here. There might be doubt here. Let's have a look and see. If this starts to resonate, please like, share and subscribe. The Nine of Wands. The Queen of Wands. The Devil Energy. Could be Capricorn Energy. Could be relevant here. The Three of Swords. The Ace of Swords is the overall central energy here. The Six of Swords. The Five of Cups. The Four of Swords. And the King of Cups. Now what we've got here is a mass of upset, heartfelt upset. Um, there's a lot of regrets here. This could be somebody where you've part somebody you're away from. Uh, this could have been somebody who, uh, you know, you're wondering, you're doubting here whether this could ever mend. Um, this could have been a toxic relationship or something that you felt held into as well. And there might have had to make compromises to release yourself from it. But it doesn't mean to say you can't get back on an even keel here because it's entirely up to you. I do feel there's been upsets and misunderstandings. I feel there's regrets here. I feel there's somebody who's doubting themselves here. You could be doubting yourself, questioning the situation here. You know, the, the only thing I can say here about this Three of Swords is a temporary place that you're in. The clouds will clear and a new day will dawn. But we can't focus on these disappointments. We have to come into the present and start to have a more positive mindset uh to look towards the future here because we can't change what's happened here now it could have been a very challenging situation or a challenging time you've been through most definitely it could have been feel, feel like it's been one thing after another and there's something happened that can feel like the last straw for some of you that may be the case but there's karmic lessons that have been learned here and you're wiser than you were when you started out so don't be beating yourself up or doubting your ability here to move forward this heal is about healing, taking time, taking a step back, uh, reflecting on what you've been through, reviewing your situation, most definitely. Now, listen to your intuition always, but you need time out. It's a time to pamper yourself. Self-care is important here. It's about nurturing yourself and doing something you really enjoy. Because this really is about mentally being able to move forward with clarity. And we need to take that time to clear our heads and take a step back here and think about how we want to go forward. Now, this could be you getting the clarity you need. It's very clear about what you want to do once you've took your time out here. Uh, like I say, they might be prepared to find that compromise as well. It's going to enable things to move on. Um, your intuition will guide you here. I feel this person has a lot of regret or you're feeling the loss of them. There's somebody missing somebody here, most definitely. Um, so there might be a conversation or some sort of communication that could come forward to you. There might be more information. If you discuss with this person, you might become even more enlightened. So there might be an important conversation that needs to take place here between the two of you to get the mental clarity that's needed. So there could be more to this than you realise. Uh, it could be that you could find that middle ground. And you could get over this. You could find that compromise because this person definitely is missing you or you're missing them. So, you know, it's not that there's a lack of passion between you here. It's about you. They don't, um, they find you very attractive. You're finding them attractive. It's nothing to do with that. Um, what we need to do is, like I say, have that conversation or get more information or take a step back and Deal with whatever we're going through. Take the time to work through your emotions most definitely because you will be able to get the clarity you need to move forward in a clearer sense. And this is about finding that happiness again, you coming into this happy time. 
Now, this person might have been somebody that's going to, it can be somebody who's very loving and caring. It can be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, but it can be somebody who doesn't express herself very well. You know, it can be somebody who feels things but doesn't necessarily say how they feel. So it might be that they, they love you, you know, they're missing you, but they would find it hard to tell you that. They would find it hard. There's not somebody who wears their hat on their sleeve. So I think after what you've been through here, we're needing to find a middle ground. There might be compromises, like I said, needed to go forward, needed to be made so that you can go forward. But we definitely need to change this upset here. We can't dwell in this. We will recover from it. We need to make the necessary changes here, however that resonates with you. And you will find happiness again here. I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.